Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be doing a small fractal painting uh, with red, white, black, and gold um, on a square piece of acrylic paper. So I just wanted to show you the paints. I'm going to give them a quick stir and then we will get started. I didn't really have anything to talk about today because I mean the fractal paintings are pretty, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. We're using um, a gloss enamel paints that I get from a paint store and uh, and then we're going to use this paper bag to make our design our fractal design so very simple paintings but you know I love how they look so and it's kind of like my bread and butter so <laughs> that's what we're going to be doing today but today I wanted to kind of just talk about uh, actually just tell you guys a story because uh, again I didn't really have anything planned as for content um, and I didn't know what to talk about. So the other night I was, when I was thinking of this painting, I thought of a story that I could tell you guys. And it was the story of how my home burned down when I was a kid. So when I was a baby, uh, my mom and my dad split up. So it was just me and my mom for the first few years of my life. And I remember that we lived in this apartment. I, I think it was like two or three, and I don't really remember much from that age, but I do remember this one event because it was so kind of, I guess, dramatic. And so anyway, we lived in this apartment, and I have a few memories of, of living in that apartment, but um, it was me and my mom, and we, we lived together. We lived by ourselves, um, just the two of us, although my mom did have a boyfriend, and we had a pet bird named Max, and Max was a cockatoo. I think it's that's what it was. It's the gray birds with like the yellow uh, feathered heads, and I think the che like little red cheeks or something. Anyway, um, yeah, so it was just me and my mom and our bird Max. So I remember one night, uh, my mom was doing college classes, and uh, she was studying for a class. So I remember her kind of doing like some some schoolwork and she told me it was time for bed. And so she was, you know, helping me get ready for bed. And um, I remember that when she was going to kind of put me to bed, she kind of stopped in the hallway and was like, does it smell like, you know, smoke? Does it smell like something's burning? And I was a kid, so I didn't really know um, any better. And I was like, no, I don't, I don't know. And so she was like, okay, well, whatever. And she put me to bed. Well, the next thing I know, she was waking me up in the middle of, you know, in the middle of my sleep, obviously. And it did smell like smoke. So it smelled like smoke, um, you know, down the hallway. And she's like, we need to get out. We got to go. And I just remember her like waking me up and, and kind of not obviously being fully coherent and her like picking me up out of my bed and um, kind of basically just whisking me out of the room. And I remember the hallway being kind of covered in smoke. And so there was smoke like it pretty much um, it was not like where you couldn't see, but it was like the top of the hallway. So like the, the basically the smoke was at like the ceiling level. And, um, you know, and so she like picked me up and she started running outside. And just as like we were kind of going, we were on the second floor. So there was a three story apartment building and we were on the second floor. And, uh, and I remember we're coming out and my neighbors were all kind of coming out of their apartments and going down the stairs. And uh, we were all kind of like running downstairs to the ground level. And I remember like as we were kind of going down there, uh, my mom's boyfriend showed up. And I remember as we were kind of getting like going down to the to the ground level, um, I remember that the bird like wasn't anywhere to be seen. Like I was like, where's Max? Where's Max? You know, kind of freaking out that my bird wasn't with us. And uh, my mom's like, you know, forget the bird. Like, you know, we can't, we can't go back. And I remember her boyfriend, his, uh, his name was Eric. He showed up like as we were kind of going downstairs and I was freaking out about the bird. I'm like, you know, Max isn't here. We need to get Max. And obviously my mom's like, no, you know, we can't go back. It's dangerous. But I was freaking out. And so uh, Eric, the, you know, my mom's boyfriend was you know, he obviously cared about me. And so he said that he would go back in and get Max. So he actually ran back upstairs as my mom's like telling him not to. 
And, uh, and he ran inside and he got the bird and he came out. And I just remember like smoke kind of, um, you know, like engulfing the building basically. And I remember that, you know, the, so we were, like I said, we were on the middle row and the fire had started above us. So later I found out that I guess the fire had started in the wiring, I think for the AC. And it started between the two levels. So it started between our level, the second level, and, a, and the third level. And I remember so vividly just kind of being on the ground level. So we got down to the ground and looking up. And from the ground level, looking up at the third floor. And the, the third floor just kind of burning away. And so, like, the whole corner of the building was kind of gone. That that third level, the corner of the third level was, like, gone. And um, and I remember just looking up and, and being able to see into where my apartment was from the ground because the wall was kind of burning away. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was, just, it was just a really kind of surreal experience. And I, I just remember that day. So I don't, again, remember much from being you know, so young, but I do remember that because it just was one of those kind of moments that was, you know, life changing, I guess. And we, we pretty much lost everything. Um, you know, I lost all my, my toys, my clothes, all of our like vital record type things or whatever. Um, you know, all that stuff gone. Um, so we had to obviously kind of restart. And I remember, I think we, we moved in with my mom's uh, sister for a while and then we moved in with my grandmother and then eventually we kind of met my stepdad and moved in with him and uh and that was it so I just thought that you know maybe I would share that story because it was kind of a unique story and again didn't really have anything to kind of say about this painting because it's pretty self-explanatory but I think it did turn out pretty good I do like it I think that there's a little bit too much right here where it's just kind of undisturbed so I'm just gonna kind of pull those colors into each other um, just to give it a little bit of just a little bit of character here and I, I kind of like having this flare right yeah um, perfect so I'm gonna pull this paint off while you guys are watching now if you if you'd like to uh if you'd like to, I do have some other I guess interesting stories or just kind of general stories to to share so if you'd like to hear any other stories um, just about my past, um, I'd definitely be willing to do some more. Looks like I pulled it up a little too aggressively. Um, but if you guys don't want to hear any more stories, you can let me know that too. Just didn't really have much to say about the painting. Just uh, just very simple, very relaxed painting. Just kind of pull this tape here and listen to the tape. It's such a satisfying sound to hear that tape kind of come off. Oh no, it ripped a little bit. It's okay, it would be covered by a frame anyway. And there it is. All right, guys, let me take my gloves off. Oh, <laughs> my glove ripped. All right, this is the final piece. Again, this was on acrylic paper, which I kind of recommend um, for these kind of paintings. Uh, it does hold up pretty well. And a nice little fractal painting. I love these colors. The red, black, and white is always nice. Like, it's one of my favorite color schemes. And then to kind of add the uh, the gold in there. What I like about these fractal paintings is you get these little waves and stuff, which is nice. But sometimes you get these little designs that kind of look like flowers in there. Like that one, that red one over there. Or kind of this area right here. And uh, it just, you know, they're unique every time. And it's so vibrant and full of motion. So... Anyways, guys, that's it for the painting. That's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said, if you want to hear more stories, let me know. If you don't want to hear anything else about my background, totally fine as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. God bless and see you then. Bye, guys.